And I was hanging out with Dom one weekend and we were just drawing all these different like TV faces. We ended up working with Dudu and, and Dudu kind of just nailed it one shot go. It just felt pretty right almost out of the gate. Back then, Brian actually is one of the original artists of the Blitmaps. So he's a longtime friend. And in 2021, in June, I think, basically invited me to, to work uh, uh, with the project. For this first project, for the Blitnauts, uh, I designed the characters and my final artwork was the final product. The only thing I was asked was to create 10 characters, 10 original characters, and they needed to have a TV head because the character was, was going to be a, a, a beholder, the holder, the frame for the pixel art they were creating, the, the original blip maps. I tried to apply good principles of character design because when you have an ensemble of characters, the great thing to do, at least in my opinion, is to give a, a great variety of characters. And that's always tough because you don't see the expression because they don't have a face. So I needed to, to convey very distinguishable uh, silhouettes and express the, the, the personality through the posture, through the stance. So if you take a look at Cece, for example, she's much more outgoing, extroverted, happy most of the time. She's making gestures to the camera. And if you compare Cece, for example, uh, with uh, Roscoe, Roscoe is the only Blitnod that is seated, so he doesn't have the trouble to, to be on his, on his feet to take the shot, you know, he's relaxed, he's chilled. And I wanted to give this graphic uh, design or something more elegant but simple line work with a flat color. Regarding that kind of style, I think I like a lot of European comic uh, artists, such as Mobius, for example. There's a lot of other game artists from the old school uh, fighting game Capcom artists uh, like Daigo Ikeno, for example, a Japanese artist, Shinkiro from SNK. That's what's going on through my mind when I'm creating these characters. I was given the images of Blitnots and I was given quick briefs of five Blitnots. CC, um, Kit, Fizz, uh, Bosco, and Raz. I was given descriptions of those five and I had to create an entire faction based on them. And all I knew was that they like Blit maps a lot uh, and that there could be someone in charge of them all and so i was like cool these guys look like power rangers <laughs> so let me just like make them solar punk sci-fi power rangers their job is to protect and serve and to defend evil from manipulating these blip maps that they take care of the next thing is we you know in a roadmap we talked about this like rivals expansion and so one weekend I kind of sat down and um, I tried to churn out as many rivals as I could because so I was kind of treating the whole list of enemies and rivals as like this portfolio of different flavors. You know, what does the community want? Like ice cream flavors, you know, do you want pure evil? Do you want cute? Do you want cute plus evil? Do you want, you know, knights? Do you want space monsters? Do you want, you know, and just like all the, do you want insects? Do you want, you know, God, what else? Are there? A lot of robots. Um, I like robots. The community voted on logos as the Blitnots rivals, and that's their entire identity. They were just the rivals who had cool clothes, right? Um, and so a lot of my work was kind of figuring out, like, what is their identity when there's no Blitnots to reference that identity out of? The logos were originally called Log.0x, so Logox. Really not fun to say, but they were still this like religious group that worshipped this like log file. It was kind of like a stubbin for the blockchain. It was like an ever expanding log file. They're like crazy and they hated the blip mods. Dom, who's really good at naming things, was like, well, they should be called the logos. And we continued to go with that because it was easier to say. And then I think it kind of reinforced itself where it was like, oh, it'd be cool if they were wearing logos. These android beings have kind of inhabited this uh, world where maybe the humans are no longer around, but all of their kind of remnants have kind of found their ways into this new android society. And so these logos have found uh, remnants of human 
society in like different brands. So like maybe they they found like sneakers with、uh, like a cool brand, like a streetwear brand, but then they also found these kind of chain mail suits、uh, from like a, the remains of a museum or something. They they don't really know what. They were used for, but maybe they just thought, "Wow, like these are really cool pieces. Like maybe they could incorporate them in their、uh, in their fashion." The blit knots and the logos rivalry is almost a rivalry of position, right? Blit knots are interested in the present and the future, whereas logos are interested in the present and the past. Logos are trying to figure out how they got here, why they're here in the first place, and they're almost frustrated with the blit knots for trying to like toxic positivity their way past all the stuff that happened. And alternatively, I can imagine how blit knots would be like, "Yo, fam, it's like a bunch of like Mickey Mouse symbols. It's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep. We have things to do in real life or like in the present." And we have a world that we can build in the future. If you would, you know, stop digging through the trash and come help us. Then we found this cool combination of like combining some of the knight read, like armor chivalry kind of vibe with like streetwear, but then tied to Android, and we started getting this really unique look. And then Judo like knocked it out of the park pretty pretty instantaneously, and it felt right again. Dom uh, uh, and Chris,、uh, they presented this idea of combining armor and streetwear. We've、uh, focused more in Japanese streetwear with a lot of brands. They read different, very different from ours because they are more fashion oriented. The armor pieces could be from like European inspired、uh, all the way to like Japanese samurai.、Uh, Like armor or yoroi, they call it. All of Dudu's like very, very early original sketches、uh, all had like a mix between、uh, streetwear and、uh, traditional classical armor. They use armor, for example, as a, a decorative piece, so it's not for protection. So they are the、uh, the essence of fashion. Of they need to dress well and look well. So that's that was the idea I had, and then we worked on logos for the first iteration, which was purely done by Dudu, and it was really really good. The issue just at the time was that a he's only one person, and b、um, we wanted、uh, to have、uh, you know more detail on the face, you know, kind of maybe、uh, a little more production into it on the rendering style and things like that. So. Around that time, we had also hired our art director. When I just joined the team,、uh, kind of like the first day uh, I was uh, at SUP, Chris kind of showed me a bunch of different concepts for the logos that、um, our artist Dudu did for us. We went back and forth talking about like different existing like gaming characters or、uh, just characters in different worlds, and we kind of compiled. Uh, a bunch of reference images for what the logos should kind of feel like, and so just taking all of those、uh, kind of conversations and all of those reference images and Dudu's concepts,、uh, I kind of had an idea for what、uh, Chris was looking for. Yumi took a really good pass on it one day, and we're like, "This is it. This is where it's at." I just went ahead and did kind of a rough pass、uh, at the production art style. I basically, like, for that process, I just took all of the images and I took one character, Liz, that Dudu had designed for us.、Uh, basically, redrew her based on all of the reference images and all of the additional information we already had, and tried to kind of. Uh, make every ask that Chris wanted kind of come true in one sketch. We were like really excited by what like kind of came out of that exploration. And it was Liz, and she kind of had her head tilted, and she had these like little like stickers on her face.、And、we're like, this is it. This is like what it should be. We have an amazing team, amazing art team. So we have、uh, Yumi as the art director. Uh, Courtney, Ada, Emily, and Leo, and they improved a lot of the uh, uh, concept art I did. You know, and that's 
one of the rewarding, very rewarding uh, experiences at SAP too, is to see your concept art making that uh, initial stage and that being used to contribute in this very uh, collective, collaborative experience. But I think that is a very uh, uh, bold thing to do for a company to trust their artists and allowing the art to to be a protagonist in a way that is very rewarding too yeah